Hey everyone, this is Darren Benton again. This is part two of a video of us comparing some of the units that we frequently sell here at Performance Motor Coaches. So the first video was basically exterior and this will be interior, but I wanted to start outside just kind of have, so you had a point of reference because most people know them more by the exterior than they do the interior. So I'll run down the product line. We have the Explorer, the Classic, and the XL. Now there's various floor plans we could go, we could spend days on days of talking about the various floor plans. A lot of floor plans do cross over from one unit to the next, but essentially Explorer, single axle, Classic, a lot more customization with the bunk over, and then uh, just a handful of floor plans on the XL with no bunk cover. So let's jump inside and kind of talk about some of the differences inside that you'll kind of differentiate the product itself. So all the entry doors are pretty much the same all the way across the board. They're gonna do a bit, little, little bit wider entry on the Explorer next year, but as of 24, this is what you get. All solid surface entry, pretty much all the way across the product line. Now all these units are sold they're in various stages of repair, so uh, that'll bring us to another little side video. But um, like this customer wanted, basically like a like a water filtration system. We are moving the uh, subwoofer back behind the theater seats. We did, I think we did Starlink. We do Starlink in this. Added Starlink, so uh, that's the reason why things are kind of torn apart. But back on track. So the biggest thing about the uh, Explorer is a little bit less ceiling height. So this is like 83-ish, 84-ish. You'll get 91, 92 out of the Classics and the uh, XL. So I've been used to larger trucks for quite some time. Feels a little bit constraining once I walk in here. I'm six foot tall. It's not like I'm gonna hit the ceiling or anything, but I'm just used to that larger ceiling height. Um, probably the number two thing that would be different, uh, different about this is they do wallboard in the uh, Explorers versus a soft touch vinyl. So you'll see the soft touch vinyl roofs, which stand all the way across the product line, but you don't see the soft touch walls. But guess what? 2025, I don't know. You know, you know. sometimes I wonder if they if they do that of kindness or they just give up. So they will kind of talk the powers that be pushing for a soft touch vinyl wall. But as of right now, no soft touch vinyl uh, wall in the Explorer. And then you'll you'll kind of see it as we jump into the other units. But as far as the quality of cabinets, you can't really knock uh, one versus the other. They're all high quality cabinets. They're all soft touch, I'm sorry, soft close. They're all uh, dovetail. So very high quality cabinetry. You'll see some variations as far as the doors and drawer fronts from one product to the next. Um, but everything is very high quality. Heated tile floors, basically all the way across the product line. Um, all double pane windows. They're all frameless windows as well. Once you get up in the higher line, we can choose some deleting overhead cabinets and doing larger picture windows. So there's some options there, a little bit more set on the Explorer line. They all have the Cascadia cab, uh, really won't vary too much. A little bit different horsepower in there, but all the cabs will basically look the same. Solid surface showers. We'll come back here. The most notable thing that's different on the Explorer 75 inch long mattress versus 80 on the XL and Classic. The reason why they've done this with a little bit shorter ceiling height, they didn't want to take and break these cabinets up to essentially push the cabinets outward and then uh, have like a little cutout. To me, I wouldn't mind it. I would rather these cabinets come all the way out to the very edge and then just know that these cabinets down lower, uh, a little bit shallower, because I think you can kind of gain that room. But Personal preference, we asked for 80 inch long mattress on the Explorer, won't happen in 2025. Now, a lot of things will be the same. So you have um, plugs on each side of the bed with USB and USB-C, so the small little fast charger. You'll see a Firefly overhead there all the way across the product line to be able to turn lights on and off. They'll all have 15,000 BTU air conditioners. They'll have 450 aqua hot standard. Uh, once you get up into the classic, you can do um, It'll be standard 450, but you can get a 600. And once you get to the XL, it'll be 600 standard. Um, like I said, not here to really show floor plans, but just kind of the varying uh, items. Um, you'll see uh, the soft touch, I apologize. You'll see the um, solid surface, which is LG, which is actually kind of a lower end um, solid surface, closer to Cordian. Um, this will be standard as well. 
Now, once you get up to the, all the way up to the XL, you'll see uh, some Cambria quartz, which is much higher end. So let's go ahead and jump out. Try to do this without tripping. Put our shoes on, shoes off. I'm going to leave the door open so we don't have to worry about it. I'm going to tiptoe along with my shoes on. <laughs> Baby calf. So we'll jump in. This is these are actually two 38 foot coaches. Uh, of course, uh, just a single slide in the bedroom in this classic here. A little 38 foot, but it's tandem axle. So I don't know if you can walk all the way around me. You'll notice a little bit wider entry. The the um, the actual floor is a little bit lower on the classic, so um, you could kind of say that the stairs on the Explorer might be with Widowmaker. Widowmakers are they're definitely a lot taller as you get in, but uh, a little bit more comfort in the classics, in my opinion. So we'll just jump right in. Why don't we worry about closing the door? Soft touch vinyl walls. I just it's just a higher end feel. I like that. Uh, we optioned the entry, all wood entry here. I, you know, I don't really have a preference one way or the other on that. It kind of changes the look a little bit, but you could do soft touch vinyl. I just, I think it makes it quieter. It looks nicer, easier to keep clean. <clears throat> you can just take a white, wet towel and wipe it off versus, you know, the wall board just kind of a little bit cheaper feel to it. There again, same quality of cabinets. All soft clothes, the all dovetail, just a little bit different style of cabinets. Two different styles as an option on the classics. The XL has a standard one, but we've pretty much pushed the envelope on that and we were able to get that changed up a little bit. <clears throat> we'll come back here. There again, just floor plan variations, but this is pretty cool. If you do a rear bed in a classic, you can do a rear window here. So this makes it pretty nice to be able to have two different vantage points looking out of the coach here. <clears throat> Ceiling fan is an option. On the classics, you can get it just in the bedroom on the Explorer, but you can't get it up front in your living area. So you can see how much taller ceiling height you have here. And then also you have the option for some, for some AC covers here. Aesthetically, it just kind of covers up that plastic intake that kind of looks a little bit cheaper to me. We talked about that on the Explorer for 25, but I don't think we'll see that. Heated tile floors. Uh, Solid surface shower, all this will be standard. A little bit different furniture. I probably should have highlighted that. So Villa Furniture next door. This is Lambright. I would say Lambright is more a little bit more utility. Doesn't look as higher end, but uh, I would say probably more comfortable uh, just because it's, you know, built by some Amish guys that I guess when they want to sit down, they want to sit down and not look the best. But I, I like the way it looks. I like this much better than the Villa one because <clears throat> it's still theater seats, but three people can sit on here whenever you're not pushing those out. So there again, I think that the classic buyer is typically more traditional customer. We'll talk about this and then we'll jump next door. So if you want overhead sleeping, the only thing you can get on a higher end truck, it will be the uh, classic. So, and then if you wanted this big cab cutout, you have to go to the Cascade. If it was a Volvo or Peterbilt, the cab opening gets much, much smaller. <clears throat> It's an option to be able to do the escape hatch only on the classic and it has to be a bunk over so if you have the cap on the classic you cannot get that escape hatch and so we'll jump out next door try not to fall out of our shoes said yeah i don't know if you can tell this a little bit wider really broad broad shoulder guy not really but it's it just it, it's a little bit more open feel coming through here Me carry you? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, this coach right here here is sold as well. I try not to open up too many things. The customer's waiting on a big herd front bumper and a few other things that we're going to still continue to add to the coach. 
This is our only stock Excel for the year that actually came to us as a stock unit. So soft touch vinyl um, will be standard. The, they don't do any of the wainscot down below the chair rail. Um, the AC covers get a little bit fancier on the XL. Um, lots of different options on the windows on the XL. We can do picture window, we can do opening window, we can do overhead cabinet, so we can do 30 inch tall, we can do 36 inch tall, and we can do window line. So there's lots of different variations on the windows on both of these units right here. So Villa Furniture, it is leather, it's true leather, it's not ultra leather. So, you know, it, it's, it's a higher end feel, it's a higher end look. I just feel that Lambright's a little bit more comfortable personally. Much larger opening here with the arrow cap. This really fancy refrigerator that I guess you can do math on it. I think, I think, I think you can do division on that, long division on the on that tablet there. Cambria quartz, uh, they're definitely a higher end than than just you know this the standard man-made solid surface. This particular floor plan right here is a 43 dB. Not really too much variation. It does have um, automatic window shades, just the night shades standard that are automatic. Uh, all these products will have a 66 inch wide bed. It's an option to do a 80 inch wide in the classic and then you can also do an 80 inch wide here. And the only issue is when we do 80 inches wide, the plugs basically have to go down to the edge of the bed. Um, we have a <clears throat> XL that's coming that I didn't want the plugs down low and I didn't want them on the wall. So we're gonna do them here. I ordered the nightstand separate. We'll take and cut those down. So we'll you know, try to clean it up where you can still have a nightstand. This, this customer has already left it with us and he put a big topper on, so this is a little bit taller. So we'll try to come up with something to accommodate an 80 inch wide mattress. We'll still have the plug back here, but still be able to put your phone up on a ledge. One thing I wanted to point out, um, we've requested, because we're getting a lot of people that simply aren't using any kind of a satellite, they're not using their Atari, they're not using their Nintendo, they're not using anything. So uh, it is an option now to be able to eliminate this. You can still put stuff in there, store stuff in there, but aesthetically I like everything to match. Uh, so it is an option just to be able to do a regular cabinet door there and then also up front your AV cabinet. So I kind of like that. If the customer wanted to change it after the fact, we would just kind of build like a little pocket and be able to put the satellite right here and then run the wires through there. Cedar lined will be standard on the uh, XL. Sound bar underneath will be standard. You can always take and add a sound bar and then we'll come back to the back shower. I'll talk about the back shower. So this is the standard XL shower. It has a little hand tail. So if you're trying to conserve water, this is what you're gonna shower with. Cause this guy right here puts out a ton of water. We use this coach whenever we came down from Indiana. Uh, I like to take a really long shower. I think we use 75% of our water in two showers. So trying to conserve water, this is the guy. If you don't want this, we could do a standard shower head there. There's definitely some variations, uh, but this is the standard setup in a XL. There again, um, two, different, two different textiles in the bathroom. Everybody has their preference, so you'll see a shower tile floor here. It matches the backsplash there. We've had some customers just request, hey, I just want to do this there and no tile floor. So there's some variations that we can do on the XL. They're probably not too happy I'm talking about it on video, but just wanted to be able to kind of explain it to people. So this is something kind of cool that we started doing on every coach that a lot of the owner's forms here out there on the owner's forms, people complain about that the once your black water tanks get about 60% full, your toilets won't flush anymore. Guess what? We're putting a bypass. The only thing I really don't like about that, that those, those labels are pretty darn ugly. So I will get the labels changed, but just things that we do that are definitely different than most of the dealers because we stand and we, we pay attention to the customers. We're always trying to kind of evolve the product a little bit. Um, 
you know, some, sometimes, sometimes we, we press a little bit harder than normal, but, uh, you know, always want to continue to build a better product. Uh, you know, the RV industry is probably, I mean, probably horrible in comparison to most other industries that paying attention to customers. Renegade does a phenomenal job. We as a dealership try exceptionally hard to be able to t take and pay attention to customers, be able to show them the difference, show you the good, the bad, the ugly as well. So very, I feel like it's pretty refreshing for an industry that typically is not known for that. Uh, don't want to get off on a tangent, but, uh, you know, definitely appreciate you guys spending the time to be able to kind of talk about. We'll try to link the two videos together, basically explore Classic and Excel. If you need some more information, if you need, you know, if you need to schedule an appointment and say, Darren, what, what, what do we need as a family? You know, what suits us best? And be happy to, you know, take and spend the time and be able to put this information and kind of direct it directly to you as a consumer and your family as well. So appreciate you guys always coming out, checking us out. We'll do several videos today. We're seeing to bombard everybody with videos and then it's 10, 15 days without. But I appreciate you guys always checking us out. Make sure you guys like, tag, and subscribe.